cool out here in a couple minutes, and I just wanted to take one more peek at the stream conditions. Getting ready to go out and fish a little J. February 18th, not often we get to go fish this, this time of year, and everything looks absolutely perfect. The water's coming down. It's already low enough to wade, and we're going to go out and see if we can try our luck at some wild browns today. Beautiful. Danny Z just hooked into the first fish of the oh, day. Yeah. I haven't even casted Danny yet. Mike. He casts in and bam! It's all for Mike's got one hooked. This sulfur nymph is incredible. Beautiful brown job. It's a sucker. Put it away. It's a sucker. Danny's got another one hooked. Imagine that. Fishing a green caddis larva and having success with it today along with sulfur nymphs. Wow. If this is a trout, this is a, a, another real nice one. Danny is slamming them today. Look at that. Alright guys, this is why we're out here today. Danny, show them what we got here. Well, we got a beautiful wild brown. Turn that sideways more. Move your hand back, your back hand. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Look at the colors on it. Put the sulfur in. When you release them, I'll go down in the water with you. Ready? Yep. Once again, I hear fish on, I look up the stream, and Danny Z is hooked up with another one. You know, there's a saying, every dog has his day, and today is Danny Z's day. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm going to fish him today, i got a lot of fishing up to do. He says it's a rainbow this time. There he is, nice color, he's been in here a while. I know I keep saying this, but there's another one. I made a half a cast since that rainbow, and Danny has yet another fish on. Little green caddis. Danny's dad's going to go ahead and tie one of those sulfur nymphs that Danny tied up on. Danny Z just hooked another nice fish. We're going to walk over to this one. Cavus larva. Beautiful fish. There he goes. The green caddis. My first catch of the day. Danny Z just caught another one on the caddis. It might sound like a broken record. This is pretty neat. He's having an outstanding day. Another beautiful wild brown. My rig here. Let me check the caddis. Out. Just a, a green caddis larva, the same color as the actual caddis are, with a black uh, head with thread and a bead, gold bead, and uh, ribbed with monofilament and a sulfur nymph. Another nice little fish I just brought in. And this one hit my bottom nymph, which is a little olive tied pheasant tail nymph. You got the sulfur. Ah, I lost. Checking some rocks right now. As you can see, hopefully the sunlight helps out. It might be a blueing all of them. Blue with nymphs. Here's the case caddis. Okay, we open up that case caddis and you can see it to the right. And to the left we have a nymph, a mayfly nymph. 
And uh, that's why the flies are working today, especially for Danny Z, because he has matched the subsurface uh, aquatic life pretty well today. Okay, we've seen Danny rolling in a lot of fish. Let's see if we can get him with a hook up here. Got some fresh water out in front of us. He got it. First cast. Uh, you got to be careful grabbing when he hits the top fly because you don't want to put put the bottom fly in your uh, hand. Stone fly. Oh, another hookup. Man, these trout are amazing looking. Check this thing out. If you can see, I caught them on a black stone fly. And look at the color. Fish and barbless, they're easy to get out. Just move location right off the back. Pick it, strikes one. Yeah, it's larva. Look at their heads, how much different they are than a, than a stock trap. Not bad, I'd take a few more of them. Another thing I'm finding in the water here, there seems to be no shortage of crayfish. Now this one was on an olive hair's ears nymph, size 14. Put the red on the back here. How many you end up with? 19. Back at the truck for lunch. Pick its chow down. And Danny Z, fisherman of the day. How many you up to? I told you guys. 19. I said, How many you catch? I nice said, I nice morning. I said, the boy, I think, got about 20. Good days. Good, Good day on the little jam. Just like you saw this morning, I checked the gauges and this is the gauging station on the little jay. And that's where we're parked and that's where we're headed in right now. It could be your 20th, so we'll get a close up there of the fish. Go. Another nice looking brownie. Here we go, fish on. One of my few today, I've been fishing with the great Danny Z, Nymph Machine. <laughs> I don't even know what to call him at this point. He's caught 20 fish to my four, but that's okay. I've been able to fill them all and I've enjoyed it. Let's see what this fish here hit. And I caught him on an old school bead-headed hare's ears nymph. What do you have on there? I am fishing a black stone fly and a caddis larva. And the black stone fly seems to be catching some fish. Nice fish. Ah, come on. Got him. Take a peek. On, that is in his nose. Barbless hook, too. Ready? Let's take a look at your fly. Yeah, black stone fly. It's a funky looking stone fly and it's working. Yes, it is. What was the secret today, Danny? You were the man. Uh, green caddis larva, stone fly, sulfur nymph. 
That got to fish with your dad. That's always a good time. Yeah, I thought I was going to have fishing, but that wasn't even close, was it? <laughs> okay, that concludes our fishing on the little J today. Uh, nothing like spending some time with family and friends. Danny and his dad out here today. We had Mike out with us. We had an excellent time fishing and uh, watching Danny catch fish. Yeah. Yeah. We... Hey, let me just find out here. Pick it. You teach him all those tricks. Well, I taught him how to fish for trout a long time ago, but he's learned a lot since then. Now he's going to teach me how to nymph. <laughs> I taught him how to catch him on bait. The nymph <laughs> master. Nymphing ain't easy.